These are the exact things that you need to be forgiven for the PPP. You need these three things exactly. Video, all right, on how to get your PPP forgiven. So, y'all listen up and let's chime in, tap in, tell your friends, send this to your friend, your mama, your cousin, everybody. What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite coach. I'm going to give you these exact three things that you need to get forgiven. Okay, first of all, you need your social security number, your EIN, or your I-10 number. Whatever you apply with to get your receive your PPP, you need to know your exact PPP award that you was amounted. And you also need to go to this website, directforgiveness.sba.gov. I'm going to say it again, directforgiveness.sba.gov. Gov. You also need to worry about one factor. Whoever awarded you your money for your PPP, for your payment protection program, they have to have opted in to this portal. All right. A lot of people haven't opted in, especially your big banks. All right. So if they opted in, this is your go to. It will be done in less than three minutes. All right. Let's dive in. Right, we're back. So as soon as you get here and you get your caption in, select your password, you click sign up. So also, when you verify your email, make sure you write down your email or your username that you created for the site and the password. Write down your email and your password because I know that might sound simple, but sometimes, you know, these things may get lost and we want to make sure they're handy at all times. Okay. That number in and I'll meet you on the other side of the screen. As soon as you get in here, you go right here it's the first page you see you start the forgiveness all right so what you need here is now your social number your ein or whatever you used to apply for your pvp loan you apply for it for here we use the social so we put the social in all right because it's a sole proprietor all right so once you put your social in you put also the pp loan amount all right, as soon as you put that loan amount is, I'll meet you on the other side, all right? All right, so find it. All right, cool, they found it. So you might get this, right? Because your bank has to opt in. If your bank opts in, as soon as you put your, what's the name amount, your loan amount is gonna come up. So you start putting in what you need to put in, all right? After your name goes up, you also put the title in if you're the sole proprietor, whatever you was. If you're a sole proprietor, I would just put the owner, your owner, if you're a sole proprietor, contact name, first name, and last name. I'll just put that up here. Because y'all don't need to know that information. And then I'll keep coming out and then the cover period. Right, if you got it in 2021, then I will put the cover period as between the eight weeks and 24 weeks, you know. And then how many employees you had. I don't know what you, if you are a sole proprietor, um, put zero employees. If you had employees, meaning you paid W-2s or you, you, you claim people on your taxes, then put that out. Um, also, the total amount of the loan spent on payroll. And if you're a sole proprietor, I will put 100% of that loan. So. As you can see, that figure is there. I would just put that same figure in here. And then I'm requesting for the exact same figure as well. And then I will just go down. This is optional, so don't put that. Just put next there. Then it says you need no documents required. If it's $150,000 or less that your PPP loan was forgiven for. And you go next and boom information is there and then you click right here submit and continue all right that's how simple it is your docusign comes up and you sign your docusign make sure you uh, click this agreement button here and then after you sign your PDF, after you sign your DocuSign, you scroll down to the bottom, press finish, finish. It'll take you right back to the information of what you forgave. Make sure you print this 
All right, make sure you get a staple, staple it to your other documents that you had. And with that, it should be as simple as that. One, two, three, easy. If you have a question, please leave a comment. Um, also, um, if you want to stay close to me and get more, understand how to get loans and get them on forgiven, then please subscribe to my email list. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and send this to everybody that needs a step-by-step guidance on how to get through this process. All right. I love you all. It's your favorite coach again, Coach EJ. I love you all.